hi everyone welcome back today's topic is how to generate the purchase order automatically in excel first of all let's understand the system then we will learn how to prepare the data and how to use the formulas here to make it dynamic here i have the list of the item name this is the sku name that your organization is selling then we need to prepare the data for current stock in hand on the date in which we are making the purchase order forecast then here in this column the automatic purchase order forecast will be calculated by using formula here in the safety stock requirement we will use a formula to calculate safety stock then here we need to calculate the average daily requirement to calculate safety stock and here in the i column we need to calculate the maximum daily requirement this is also calculated by using formula then here in this part of the screen we need to create the past sales trend of the different items in different dates here i have the date here i have the item and we need to keep track of the sales quantity of these items every day from this daily data we will calculate the maximum daily requirement and average daily requirement then we will calculate safety stock based on that then to calculate the safety stock we need to know the average lead time and the maximum lead time lead time is the gap between the ordering date and physical product receiving date now after having this data ready now let's start using the formula here so let me delete the already used formula from here these two column contains formula and these two column contains formula now i have deleted first of all to calculate the safety stock here we need to calculate the average daily requirement and maximum daily requirement and here i am going to take the average daily requirement for last seven days this last seven days average daily requirement calculations should be dynamic here because currently the last seven days average will calculate from the 4th of january to 10th of january but when i add the detail of the more days then it should dynamically move because when i update the sales detail of 11th of january then it should take from 5th of january to 11th of january so to make this calculation dynamic press is equal to start with the average function open the bracket then combine the offset function here open bracket then here in the reference of the offset click on the first data of the first item give a comma in the row provide zero comma in the columns combine the count a function open bracket now in the value one of the count a function select the data range here and while selecting the data you need to take here more columns because every day the sales data will be updated so we need to take more columns by considering how many columns will be filled in future suppose that if you are going to make this for one year then the data will go till 365 column here so here for example i am taking till the column a05 now close the bracket then give a comma and in the height put one give a comma and in the width provide minus seven here because we are calculating the average of last seven days if you are calculating the average of last 15 days then here you have to put minus 15 now close the bracket then close one more bracket for the average function press enter and here you get the average of the last seven days if you check the average of the last seven days in your data here you see it is 7.8 which is similar to 8 unit which is calculated here if you now add a new data here suppose that if i put here 32 then the average will automatically change here you see now the average is 12 so this is a dynamic formula to calculate last seven days average the same way we will calculate the maximum daily requirement of the last seven days here press equal to for maximum we have to put the max formula first open bracket then combine the offset again 
open bracket in the reference of the offset click on the first data comma in the row provide zero comma in the column combine the count a open bracket in the value of the count a select the table range where you have the data as i already told you while selecting the column take more column here then close the count a function give a comma in the height provide one comma in the width provide minus seven now close two brackets press enter and here you calculate the maximum daily requirement of the last seven days and this calculation is also dynamic if you add more data here then it will automatically take the last seven days maximum after calculating average and maximum now select these two go here in the fill handle drag it down and you will have the average and maximum of last seven days for all the items now after having these information now we can calculate the safety stock requirement here by using this formula press equal to click on the maximum daily requirement multiplied with the maximum lead time that is the 18 days put here 18 minus then click on the average daily requirement multiplied with the average lead time that is 12 days now put 12 press enter and here the safety stock requirement is calculated which is 102 unit for the item a b now go here in the fill handle drag it down and here you have the safety stock requirement for all the items now by comparing current stock in hand safety stock requirement and the minimum order quantity we will calculate the automatic order forecast here in the d column so to calculate the automatic order forecast we need to check whether the current stock in hand is less than safety stock requirement or not and if the current stock in hand is less than safety stock requirement we have to subtract the current stock in hand from safety stock requirement here that will be the automatic order forecast and we also need to check whether the automatic order forecast is greater than 12 unit or not if it is greater than 12 unit then we can place the order but if it is less than 12 unit then we cannot provide the order to the supplier so we have to wait until the requirement exceeds 12 unit so here the formula will be press is equal to then start with the if function open the bracket in the logical test we have to check whether the difference between safety stock and current stock in hand is greater than 11 unit so here open one more bracket click on the safety stock requirement minus click on the current stock in hand close bracket this calculation should be greater than 11 to provide the order now give a comma in the value if true again click on the safety stock requirement minus the current stock in hand that is in the c5 cell so here type c5 cell address then give a comma in the value if false provide zero then close the bracket press enter and here the automatic order forecast is calculated is 12 unit because the difference between safety stock and current stock in hand is greater than or equal to 12 units here so the moq is reached here that's why the automatic order forecast is given but in this case if you have the current stock in hand of 91 unit in this case it doesn't show any order here because the requirement is 11 unit which is less than the moq that's why here the forecast is given as zero but here if you have the 90 unit then you have the automatic order forecast generated now go here in the fill handle drag it down and you will get the order for all the items here you see we can now place order to our supplier for these four items because these items have the stock in hand that is less than safety stock requirement and is also satisfying the moq of 12 units so this is the way of generating the purchase order automatically in microsoft excel if you want to learn more you can go to my channel's video page where you can find different video tutorials 
from the basic to the advanced level of excel and if you are new here in my channel i also request you to subscribe this so that you will get similar kind of video updates in future thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial